Hello there, Dan Burnham here, danburnham.com. Dr. D, yes. Why are you wearing a towel? Well, you know, every doctor has to have a stethoscope, right? Well, we're using a towel today because we're going to be doing some kicking and some cooking in the Legends Brass Kitchen. I want to introduce to you the Legends Brass Silver Booster. Ta-da! I want to show to you what's the purpose of a booster. Booster is used to darken your sound, okay? Now, there's two ways to put it on. One way, there's only two ways. The best way, the only one that works, try it one way, if it doesn't work, you want to slide further up the mouthpiece. This is the correct way. So I'm gonna let you hear what it sounds like without the booster, okay? Okay, just a little ditty stuff there. Now, we're gonna take the brass fitting that slides over the bottom half of your mouthpiece. We're gonna take the booster, big in, and slide up this way. Okay, I want you to listen. You'll hear when you're doing it right, it's going to the sound. Sound like you're filling up a bottle. The closer it gets to the rim here, bottom of the rim, or the top of the mouthpiece, then you once it, it butts up to it, it's snug, you're right. It's working. Now it's gonna put a little white on your horn, so you're gonna tilt back a little bit, but that's okay. So what does this sound like? Let's find out now. Now, I'm just trying to give you all ranges, so let me do some lower stuff. Let you hear how it sounds. And the lower register, it gives it a big, it gives you a little darker sound than you would normally have. That's the purpose of the booster, to give you a bigger sound. So if you're playing on a smaller piece and you want a bigger sound, you know, you may be used to your piece. How does it sound in the higher parts? nuts there anyway the legends of brass booster this is what you're looking for and it's a really great piece and when you're done with it it pulls right off so all right your next question is how do i get the brass ring out this is how i do it stick your mouthpiece in go at an angle and turn the booster and if you want, you can put your thumb on the brass. Eventually, you'll unscrew it. All right, let's do it one more time. Now, see, 
So you can tell that's not the right end, but that's okay. You'll have a beveled end on here. You'll have a beveled end, but if you don't know, just do it both ways. Whichever one goes the furthest, it's not this one. It's that one. Then come in. Okay. And then just gently get it lined up. And you'll have to make several turns before you get it to butt up to the top. Now you're there. Now when you're done, all right, let's say we're done a part and you get through with it, just pull it off. The brass ring's in there, not on the mouthpiece. Do it this way, angle it, turn, and bam. You're good to go. Or you can screw it back up in there and just let it sit flush. And then when you get ready to use the booster, you can pull the brass out. Anyway, get hold of Derek and Leslie. If you want to do some cooking with your sound and then give it that broad feel and sound and core, add a little more oomph to it, I recommend you get hold of Derek and Leslie. Legends Brass and get your Legends Brass booster today. Where it's on standard pieces on the Legends Brass line. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.